Hey cuties, what's up and welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. So in today's role-playing video, I'm gonna be getting adopted by some super rich billionaires. And it all seems great until I discover one of their deepest, darkest secrets. <laughs> mom! Mom? What's wrong? My precious little daughter. Uh, what's wrong, Mom? I don't know how to tell you this. I've been keeping this secret from you for the past few months now. Tell me what? I have cancer. Wait, what? And it's spreading fast. Mom, no. So what does that mean? The doctor has told me I have only two more months on this planet. No, this can't be happening, Mom. <sighs> I wanted to break the news to you now because I want to find you a new forever home with parents who will take good care of you and raise you into a wonderful young woman. I want to be here so I can meet the parents so I know you're in good hands. Mom, I love you, Mom. I don't want you to die. I love you too, my little angel. Mommy will be there for you in spirit. But we must go to the adoption center now. <laughs> okay. Let's make the most out of our last two months together. Yeah, all right, Mom. Anything for you. Now, come on. We have to go. Is your seatbelt on? Mommy doesn't want you to get hurt. Yes, Mom. It's on. What happens if my new mom doesn't care about my seatbelt? I will make sure she does. All right, we're here. <sighs> I really don't want to do this. Hi there. How may I help you today? Hi there. I'm looking for a foster home for my little angel right here. The doctor says I have two more months to live, and I want to find the perfect home for her. Well, you came to the right place. So, how old are you, little girl? Uh, I'm 10 years old. Do you have anyone that looks like my mommy? Sorry, little girl, but I don't think that I do. Unfortunately, it will be tough finding you a family. Oh. Normally, they're looking for younger children, around the ages of four to five. So what does that mean? No one wants me? We will try our best to match you up with a suitable family, but no guarantees. If we don't find you a family, I hate to break it to you, but you will have to live in an orphanage. Please, do everything everything you can for my daughter. An orphanage? No! Her precious little soul could not take living in an orphanage. I will do my best, ma'am. Have a great night. You should expect to hear a call from me in two weeks. No! <laughs> <sighs> Mackenzie, please talk to me. I promise I will find you a new home with parents who love you. Any family would be lucky to have a daughter like you. Now, come on. Let's go home. We have memories to make. Two weeks later. Hi, is this the adoption clinic? Wait, who's calling? Shh. Hi there, I have some great news. Oh my god, tell me the news. Well, after searching far and wide, we were able to find a suitable family for your daughter. Wow, that's awesome to hear. What's awesome? Tell me. Yes, it is, and they are also billionaires who are ready to settle down with a daughter. Billionaires, eh? Wow, I'll take that. They would like to have you guys over for dinner tonight. Would you be available? Uh, yeah, of course we're available. Perfect, they'll be expecting you. Great, we're excited to meet them. Mom, who was that? It was the adoption clinic and they found you a perfect match we are going over for dinner right now to meet them oh my god no way i'm kind of nervous this is kind of weird what if i don't like them well just give them a chance okay okay mom i'll do it for you okay now we gotta go come on okay let's go mom we're here this is their house whoa come on let's go inside hi guys it's so nice to meet you and you must be mackenzie <laughs> yeah hi we have heard so many great things about you your guys' house is so nice yes it's gorgeous plenty of space for mackenzie to grow up in oh thank you we have worked very hard to afford this house wow and they're hard working too my name is lisa by the way and i'm tom so mackenzie we live on a big farmland and have a pool and horses and a tree house what? That's amazing. That sounds like so much fun. Wow, you're going to have so much fun here. Come on, dinner is getting cold. Let's go. Whoa. This kitchen, it's so big. Have a seat, guys. Mackenzie, we hope you like chicken. Um, I actually don't. Pizza's kind of my favorite food. Ahem, uh -huh. Mackenzie, be polite. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did someone say pizza? We love pizza. We thought we would impress you with a nice dinner, but we actually don't like eating fancy either. Oh my god, no way. You guys are the best. All right, everyone say their favorite pizza flavor on three. One, two, three. Cheese! Wow, Mackenzie, you're gonna love this family. 
Yeah, I guess they're not too bad. Tom and Lisa, it was so nice meeting you guys. It looks like Mackenzie had a great time. It was our pleasure. Yeah, thanks for the pizza. Anytime. Hopefully you'll be back for more soon. Sure will. Bye, guys. They seem like the nicest people ever. So, Mackenzie, what did you think of them? Could you see yourself being their daughter? I mean, yeah, they were, like, super nice, but... No one could ever replace you. Uh, it's okay, Mackenzie. I think they'll be perfect for you. <sighs> okay, Mom, let's do it. One week later. <laughs> Mommy, I love you. We are so sorry for your loss, Mackenzie. We are here for you, and we will take such great care of you. I promise. I love you, Mom. Goodbye. She's in a better place now, Mackenzie. Let's take you home now, daughter. <laughs> Welcome to your new home. Come on, let us show you your new room. <sighs> okay. Whoa, this is my room? How do you like it? I, I love it. I've never had a room this big before. That's great to hear. You should probably get some sleep, though. You have had a long day. Okay, yeah, you're right. That's a good idea. We'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, good night, guys. Later that same evening. <sighs> I'm hungry. I wonder if they have any snacks in the house. Hmm, let's see what they have in the fridge. Ooh, they have chocolate. Mmm, I love chocolate. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to bed. Uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, Mackenzie, why are you up? It's 3 a.m. It's way past your bedtime. Uh, I got hungry, so I got a snack. Oh, sorry, Mackenzie. We should have fed you before bed. But what are you guys doing? Oh, uh, we, we were... At a costume party. Yes, right, a costume party. Uh, so why do you guys have so much money? Uh, at the costume party, they, uh... They were giving away free money. Yes, right, free Free money. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I know, right? The person hosting the party had so much money. So he just decided to give it all away for free. Yes, that's it. That's exactly what happened. Oh, cool. I guess. All right. I'm just going to go back to bed now. Hmm. That was really weird. Who goes to a costume party at 3 a.m. at night? Tom, do you think she believed us? Of course, Lisa. She's a 10-year-old little girl. She's too stupid to think otherwise. You're right, Tom. Little girls are so gullible. <laughs> Let's go upstairs and count all this money. Money. Last one at the top is a rotten egg. Hey, not there. You got a head start. The next day. <laughs> this show is so funny. Hey, Mackenzie, we're heading off to the movies. Yeah, the new kissing booth is out. All right, sounds good. See you guys later. Okay, bye. Wait a minute. The movies? It's 12 a.m. People don't go to the movies at 12 a.m. The movies aren't even open. How come those two always go out at night? You know what? I'm going to follow them and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Where the heck are those two going? Wait, that's not even the way to the movie theaters. This is very suspicious. Why did they stop at this house? Whose house is this? Quick, Lisa, get out. Toast is clear. You know the drill. In and we're out. Okay, I need to get a better view from them in the window. I have to be super quiet. If they catch me, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Where the heck are they? <gasps> Look, there's my mom. Look, there's my dad. I'm home. Who's that man? What the heck is going on in there? Tom, you said no one was going to be home. Uh, that's what I thought. Uh, who are you guys? And what are you doing with my money? I'm calling the police. Oh, no, you will not. <gasps> oh, my gosh. He just shot him. My parents are murderers. Tom, what did you do? I thought it was a fake gun. Oh, my God. My parents just robbed a guy and killed him. I, I bought it from the toy store. The toy store? You mean the one beside the gas station? I, yeah, that one. That's a gun store, you idiot. Oh, whoopsies. Well, what do we do now? We have to bury him. Now they're burying a dead man's body. Quick, let's go before anyone sees this. I can't believe this just happened. What do I do? Do I go to the police? I don't know what to do. But my new parents were so cool and so rich. Oh, no, I have to tell the police. Quick, put him in here. All right, now let's hurry home. No one better have seen us. Hello, Mr. Police Officer Man. Uh, hello, where are your parents and why are you out this late? Okay, I just saw my adopted parents rob and kill a man. Okay, well... Did you get it on video? Uh, no. Were there any other witnesses? Uh, no. Do you know where the body is? Uh, no. Well, sorry then, kid. Without any of that, I can't help you. I need some solid evidence. Ugh, oh no, fine, okay. Can't believe I don't have any evidence. <gasps> Wait! Kid, I already said I can't help you. I got an idea. Well, you've already wasted my time, so go on. All right, I'm gonna set them up, but I need your help. Do you think we could borrow your house? My house? For, for what? Well, I'm gonna tell them it's my friend's house and that they're going on vacation. So they're gonna go rob it because they think no one's there. But you're gonna be there, so you can arrest them and take them to jail. That might just be the stupidest idea I've ever heard in my life. Hey! Let's do it. I live just up the hill. I'll see you tonight, kid. Perfect, see you then. All right, now I gotta get home before my parents notice I'm gone. The next morning. Hey, 
Mackenzie, who are you on the phone with? Oh, it was just my friend Sky. Oh, is everything all right? Yeah, they're going on vacation, and they can't find anyone to house it for them, so I'm trying to help her. Oh, house it? We could, uh, help? We have housed at many houses before. Oh, really? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, no problem. We'd love to. Wow, that's great. Yeah, they just live off the hill. Amazing. We'll make sure we take good care of the house. All right, thanks. Bye. Later that same evening. George, that's them. That's my criminal parents. Ugh, they're rich Lamborghini with their money they've stolen. Come on, go closer. Come on, let's go catch them. Okay, I'm following you. Put your hand where I can see them. You guys are bad, bad people. Mackenzie, how could you? You guys are phonies, fake billionaires. The money's for you too. I don't care. I could never live with criminals like you two. Ugh, you unappreciative brat. Hands behind your back, both of you. You have the right to remain silent. Everything you do or say will be used against you in the court of law. Uh, Mackenzie, you little twerp. Get in the car, you filthy animals. Make yourselves comfortable in there. You two will be in there for a very long time. Well, Mackenzie, great work. If you weren't 10 years old, I'd hire you on the spot. So, uh, I know those were supposed to be your parents. And I was wondering if you'd want to come live with me instead. Really? You'd want to adopt me? Gets pretty lonely in that big house of mine, and I've always wanted a daughter. Wait, that'd make me like a spy kid, right? Yes, of course you could be a spy kid. Come on, let's go home now. Three days later. Uh, Mackenzie, you might want to come see this. Uh, what? What is it? This just in, breaking news! Two highly dangerous criminals have escaped from the Brookhaven Jail. They are considered armed and dangerous. If you see them, do not approach them. Call the police immediately. This is Laura from Brookhaven News, signing off. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below which Brookhaven role-playing video you want to see me do next. And congratulations to Queen Suzanne for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment done when you're done. And always make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on so you get an alert every time I upload a new video. And remember guys, always be a unicorn. Bye!